they're certainly not generated with spaces. Um, one is a uh, channel. Now, the, the convention with programming languages like this is you start off with one, so it's saying, OK, all the forward stuff is about channels. OK, and it actually finishes channel right down the bottom with a backslash channel. See how this works? You get a backslash channel there. So everything in there is about the channel, the channel that, that the RSS is feeding, which is yours. <coughs> um, and the second thing is, it, well, it says in the channel, it says things like, what's the title? So in this, it's Australian Mac Gossip. Uh, what's the link? This is the link. And you can find a lot of good stuff out of it. You know, like, what is my link you say for my channel? Well, that's it. That's it there. That's actually, when people say to you, oh, what you've got to do is to put into, um, you, you know, one of the, the feed checkers, my the link to my podcast, um, you often don't know what, what that is, I found, you know, well, what the hell is my link? Well, there it is. It's in the RSS HTML. You can actually just open that and text edit and copy it out and it's there. Uh, next thing is the description tag. These are all known as tags. Okay, description tag. Uh, and you can write anything you like in there. Um, you find iWeb does all of this as long as you're doing it in the right spot. Um, I found to my chagrin that um, I had uh, stuffed up one of the pages and it wasn't actually generating it properly and I had to redo the page. But but uh, I found that out because it wasn't um, uh, coming up in, in the iTunes shop properly. I found it out by... Um, opening the RSS HTML file, or XTML it is, or XML I should say, um, and I could see that it just wasn't putting it in. So when I did the page, redid the page, it all came back. Now, uh, there's a few other things here. This one is incredibly important if you're doing an, uh, uh, a podcast link because it's what gives you the, um, the image of the podcast. Now, at the moment... Um, there is, as I speak now, which is um, Saturday, uh, the God knows what uh, of um, God knows which month, I, I completely lose it, what is it, 28th of July 2007, uh, there is still a problem with the podcast server on the iTunes side, not yours, that is not allowing or not getting the proper images up. So if you're having a problem with that, that's a reason, okay? Um, so uh, uh, this is the link here. Um, sorry, the um, the image link is incredibly important. Okay, so the link to the image is now. Where is the image? Oh yeah, here it is. It starts here. That's the tag. This is the whole image link, and you'll see there's something telltale here actually because it says um, well whatever it is it's a particular DSC 0025 PNG that's the name of the file that's the name of the picture um, uh, which you will find actually if you look in that you look in this uh, directory you will find that picture there and you can find out what it's saying so that's the beginning of the tag that's the end of the tag. Oops, the end of the tag there, and that's what you got to be um, you got to be cognizant of. Okay, now it then goes through a number of iTunes tags. So, for instance, it's got iTunes explicit, no, iTunes author, that's me, iTunes owner, I haven't got anything there, but I should have, uh, iTunes name, that's me, iTunes email, that's me again, iTunes owner. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's that's the end tag of the iTunes owner. So iTunes owner is the beginning of the tag. iTunes owner with a backslash is the end of the tag. So all those things are in there. I'm just being a silly boy. Now, um, <coughs> the iTunes subtitle. So what it is you'd like as a subtitle to appear in your iTunes. Um, and the iTunes summary, which is which should be longer. But I've got the same one there. Uh, the iTunes image again pointing to the picture then it goes item right now and the item tag goes so there's the beginning of the item tag and the item tag goes right the way down here 
to the end of the item tag. And the item is actually e uh, is generated for each and every podcast you make. You make 10 of them, there's 10 items, uh, 10 separate items you can find. And each one has the information for each separate podcast. So all of this is a separate podcast. You go through them and you'll find the, the, uh, the tags. Here's the title, the link, See, they're a bit hard to bloody pick out, aren't they? Yeah, the publication date, description, um, the... Uh, this one is very important, enclosure URL. Uh, quite often, um, uh, there are additions to that. Um, uh, duration, how long it takes, um, subtitle, subtitle summary about this very specific uh, you know the, the very specific item which is the specific podcast that you've made so you know you might have made one two three four five in a series um, under one thing which we've got which is Australian Mac gossip podcast now this is an old one so I've only got one on it I've actually done five but that's that's beside the point. Okay, so that should give you some idea of the structure of the RSS HTML file when you look at it. Okay, now if you have looked at it and played with it or touched it at all, when you click to close it, don't save it. Okay, because any saves you make might make a change, unless you're fairly sure about changing it. And I'll show you how to change it. It's better to change it with a program called Mass Replace It. Um, to make those changes and it is to actually have to go and through and do this all the time. Now one of the hassles about changing RSS or anything post-publication in iWeb and virtually there's no other way of changing iWeb other than post-publication, in other words you've already sent it up to the site, uh, is that you have to keep doing it. So every time that you republish a site you need to uh, run a replacement program which makes the changes you want to change. Now that sounds like a real pain, doesn't it? But it isn't. It's actually incredibly easy and you can do it with about with only two programs and I'm going to show you how to set those up once I've done a garage band, one which I'm going to do now. So I'll see you later.